Hey Geminis, welcome to your February 2020 general reading. This reading will be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. If you don't know your Moon and Rising, check the link down in my description. You can enter your birthday, time you were born, and you'll get your Moon and Rising Signs. Once you find out your Moon and Rising Signs, I highly recommend that you go... Hey, Gemini's abundance. <laughs> I highly recommend that you go and watch the videos for your moon and rising sign to get more clarity for the month of February. And also in case the messages here don't resonate, okay? This is a general reading, so it may not apply to everyone. But take what applies to you and leave what doesn't, all right, Gemini's? And also don't forget to represent, comment your birthdays down in the comments section and represent the Gemini gang. Um, if you're new to my channel, then you may not know this, but I am also a Gemini, Gemini Sun, and my birthday is May 28th, so if you're my birthday twin, definitely comment in the comment section, all right? Okay, Gemini, so let's see what's going on for you in the month of February 2020, general reading. Universe, please pick up on the energy of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign. And this deck, if you've watched my videos in the past, again, Abundance Gemini, Abundance twice. This is going to be a good year for you, Gems. For us, should I say, because I'm also Gemini. Um, I feel like we're going to get a lot of blessings, rewards, a lot of things. We're feeling very abundant. Um, whatever it is that we've been wanting um, for a while, we're going to start to see it kind of manifest or receive it in... in it's almost as if getting everything you want at the same exact time, like things are falling into place. I feel like a lot of you gems may be feeling like that, like things are falling into place for you finally, right? After having, you know, a, a tough couple of years. Geminis have been having a tough couple of years and for some reason 2020 feels lucky and I feel like it is it has a lot to do with that duality. We are the twins and this is the year of 2020. So this is kind of a lucky year for us and... I've been seeing a lot of synchronicities. You may have been seeing a lot of synchronicities too as far as like, you know, numbers, four fours, two twos. I'm seeing five to eight constantly, all right? And that's my birthday, but definitely universe is trying to signal you or send you a message or communicate with you. So I would be very mindful of those subtle signs that you're seeing. So if you are seeing numbers, definitely comment them down below, okay? All right, so what's the current energy around Gemini's in the month of February. Current energy could be the recent past or the moment you're watching this video. Current energy. Okay, first card out we have is karma. Things balancing out. You could be receiving a lot of good karma, Gemini. Karma for good things that you've done. Let's do that again. Tell me more about the energy Gemini's are experiencing in the present moment. Endurance. Okay, strength, strength to overcome things, all right? As I said before, you guys have been having a rough time or you've been really working hard to achieve the things you want to achieve and it feels like things are coming into balance here like I was saying before and you have the karma card here which is all about balance, okay? And your hard work is paying off, Gemini. I feel like hard work is paying off. One more card. Ooh, the child. Okay, gems. Some of you may be wanting to have children. You may be having a child. So I would be mindful of that. Or this is talking about renewal. Brand new things happening, okay? You have death at the bottom of your de um, of the deck. So again, this is rebirth for you, Geminis. For some of you, it's not a literal child. For many of you, it is just speaking of a rebirth that's happening at the moment for you. I'm going to clarify these cards with this amazing deck that my cousin got me. <laughs> so this is actually the first deck that someone has bought for me. All of my decks I bought for myself. And I know a lot of readers say, oh, you shouldn't buy your own decks, but I can't wait around forever to, for someone to buy me a deck, okay? So I bought my own deck and it's worked out fine. So universe, clarify karma for me. Why is karma here for Geminis in their present energy? Okay, how pretty are these cards, right? Ace of Cups, Geminis. Good karma and balance in love. Good karma in new beginnings. Good karma in 
emotional balance as well if it's not love but there's a lot of things blossoming here this is beautiful card here beautiful energy so this is good and positive karma that's coming your way you are feeling it's almost like i'm getting from this card like your cup is just overflowing i remember i said wow and then at the bottom of your deck you have the seven of pentacles so remember i said that everything is coming to you at once like you feel overwhelmed with abundance you feel overjoyed you are you know feeling so blessed and i feel like your cup is getting full and over full at this point because a lot of good things are coming your way and you worked hard for it with endurance why is the child here remember for some of you i'm saying that this could be a rebirth this month is feeling like you're starting fresh starting over Feel, your energy feels reborn okay because you have death here so something has ended or transformed or changed significantly about you gemini's this year is going to be all about transformation oh yes and the magician is here let's get that to focus sometimes this camera focuses and sometimes it doesn't there goes the magician all right that's also this card of gemini here you're manifesting something some of you are manifesting this rebirth okay you worked hard for it it didn't just happen to you it wasn't by chance this is something that you were pushing towards okay a lot of you gemini's have brought yourself out of a place of darkness into the light or a lot of you have come from struggles and it's almost as if you've been climbing this mountain for a very long time and you finally reach the top and you feel like in utter peace happiness accomplished it feels really great and now you're looking down and feeling blessed is what i'm getting here talk about climbing that mountain you have the fool card here who's standing on the cliff basically and this was you pushing pushing through so congratulations gems you guys are manifesting great things and you're gonna see a lot of it month of february the month of love a lot of great things happening here what else are we manifesting let's do that again that was the high priestess and the seven of swords what are we manifesting here with the magician okay they want me to take all of these cards apparently you have temperance okay balance in a situation you have the devil card Depending on when you're watching this, we could still be in Capricorn season, and then you have the Two of Pentacles. So some of you were trying to decide something or juggling between two outcomes. I feel like these are representing your twins here, okay? And you literally have the devil and the angel, right? So you have the good twin, the bad twin, but what's in the middle? Two of Pentacles. Balance, all right? You're bringing balance to... The two sides of you, Gemini, you're manifesting cre and creating something that's new, creating something that works for you. So you're finally going to be feeling at peace is what I'm getting. And if you've been feeling torn or feeling as if you didn't know which direction to go, I feel like you, you, you feel whole in the month of february for some reason so it's all about bringing balance to yourself and once you feel balanced and complete that's when you're most powerful gemini that's when you're able to really manifest all the things that you truly want so you're very powerful right now gemini definitely be mindful of what it is that you would like to manifest here and i feel like you're going to be very successful so what is the energy coming towards Gemini here? Energy coming towards Gemini in the near future. Energy coming towards Gemini in the near future. Let's do that again. One card, please. What is the energy coming towards Gemini? <laughs> Gemini, you got this in your last general reading. Again, feminine energy. And someone comment, <laughs> someone commented in the comment section. They were like, no. I, I don't want to tap into my feminine energy. I want my masculine energy. I think it was a guy. Either way, okay, guys can tap into their feminine energy too, all right? It's mostly talking about being very intuitive. Um, look at the freaking body language here again twice. You see? 
that same pose, that same Zen pose, feeling open to receive what universe wants to give to you, feeling as if you're at one with the universe. So as I said before, Gemini, you're going to feel very in tune. Definitely pay attention to nature, um, to signs that you're receiving, especially if you're seeing it happening repeatedly. So you could be seeing like, there was a while where I was seeing dragonflies like constantly. You could be seeing little signs like that, butterflies, dragonflies, um, numbers, messages. It seems as if you're you're almost like an antenna. Oh, geez, that scared me. <laughs> that was my computer. You are an antenna here for the universe, for communication. So you're going to be receiving a lot of downloads here. And it's because you have found your balance. It's because you are at your most powerful right now. You're not conflicted. Okay, you feel very complete. All right, Geminis. One card, please. One more card. What else is the energy coming towards Gemini? What is the energy coming towards the Gemini here? Energy coming towards Geminis. Sun, moon, rising. The cocoon. Okay. Transformation once again. Transformation once again is happening here for you, Geminis. Let's clarify the feminine card. Why is the feminine card here for Gemini? King of Cups. Water sign, energy, water, emotions. You have a lot of water here in your reading. Some of you Geminis could be dealing with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio doesn't have to be. But you're definitely lucky in romance. You're definitely feeling emotionally balanced feeling in tune with your emotions, feeling in control, okay? It's a great energy here. Tell me more about this King of Cups showing up here for Geminis and the energy coming towards them. Seven of Wands. You know, this is an energy of being able to stand your ground, being able to embrace your softer side, Gemini. And I know I've said this before in the last reading, but it's coming up again. You guys are really embracing a different side of yourself. You guys have grown. You guys have really transformed. And for some reason, you're feeling very open to emotions, whereas before, you know, you kind of weren't open to expressing yourself or love or being very like touchy-feely you have changed in a big way and you have the cocoon so you have been you know evolving transforming into something brand new the hermit card exactly with the cocoon the cocoon to me is similar to the hanged man in the um rider weight deck and then you have the page of pentacles get that to focus yeah the page of pentacles is here so soon you you know you have gone on this spiritual journey again is what i'm getting for a lot of you gemini's you really had to get yourself out of a dark place right you have the cocoon here you were in a dark place but you weren't sitting there idly you were growing you were changing you were transforming you were working hard you weren't letting your circumstances bring you down and in a sense you were on your hermit journey where you were alone many of you may have felt alone for a while trying to find your way but soon you get that chance or you get the opportunities or the abundance that you need you get that you know that grounding energy here with the page of pentacles that capricorn energy was really good for you and now that we're moving into aquarius season you are going to be a little more grounded you're not going to let that that air energy kind of sweep you up again or make you lose focus on the things that are really important to you and it seems like you really want to manifest something especially when it comes to matters of love matters of the heart matters of your emotional well-being as well which is great so there's a lot of good things happening here for you gemini what's the outcome What's the overall outcome here for Geminis in the month of February? 
overall outcome for Gemini's in the month of February. You have the Emperor, Aries energy. This is you once again being in control of your outcome, being in control of yourself, of your power, stepping into your power as well, Gemini's. Many of you could be dealing with an Aries. I do get Virgo here, Capricorn, Sagittarius, water signs are also here, specifically Scorpio. Okay, too many cards. What's the outcome here for Gemini's? The full card. Again, this is you emerging here, emerging from that cocoon. You have two major arcanas here. There's a sense of control and yet a sense of non-control. And again, for you, Gemini, it's all about this balance, balancing your two polar opposites, all right? Because the emperor is all about stability, control, responsibility, okay? And the fool is very much spontaneous and free and go with the flow kind of energy. And you found a way to sort of balance the two sides of you and make it work and make it something that's going to bring you a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, a lot of abundance, feeling connected, feeling at peace. Again, it's like I'm saying, there's a lot of good energy that's happening here for you in the month of February. And I think it's really good. And I feel like for a lot of you, you are able to achieve what you want. You're able to notice the growth that you have and i feel like you feel very proud of yourself you feel very happy that you were able to stand your ground and accomplish a lot because i feel like you've been through a lot gemini's so i am ecstatic for you this is a great reading all right gem so thank you so much for watching this video i hope it gave you some clarity for the month of february if you want to do a private reading with me the link to my description i'm sorry the link to my website is down in my description you can click on that purchase a reading and i will get back to you all right gems thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video take care